This year marks the 20th anniversary of the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria. And it provides a good opportunity to note great progress we have achieved against world's most deadly infectious diseases. The Global Fund was born out of a refusal to accept the loss of millions of lives each year to diseases that were both preventable and treatable. HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria once seemed unbeatable, but over the course of two decades, global solidarity has turned the tide against the viruses, and one of the game-changing moments in that journey was the creation of the Global Fund. To date, the Global Fund has helped to save 38 million lives. The Global Fund's story tells us that even the most severe health threats can be overcome, which gives us hope of what can be achieved when the world comes together to fight deadly pandemics. The Global Fund has played and continues to play a critical role towards achieving the UN Sustainable Development Goals. The SDGs were adopted by the United Nations General Assembly in September 2015 during my tenure as Secretary General of the United Nations and are one of my proudest achievements together with Paris Climate Change Agreement. Intended to be a roadmap towards achieving a better, healthier, and more sustainable future for all, the SDGs, like the Global Fund, are built on the principle of partnership. Sustained efforts to support global partnerships to carry out the commitments of the SDGs is crucial in dealing with today's challenges. I count on the strong commitment and leadership of the international community, as well as G20 leaders, to continue to work together and invest to jointly address the threat posed by current infectious diseases and future health threats and protect the hard-won yet fragile gains made in the fight against HIV, TB, and malaria over the last 20 years. Reiterating my sincere congratulations on the 20th anniversary of the Global Fund, I wish its continued success in the years to come. Thank you.